Twitards, Twitter users, Xers, whatever you call this group of human. They continuously ruin everything they get their hands on. Time and time after again, users of X ruin perfectly fine non-Western, non-generate things. They do it by touching the art with their cursed, wretched, dirty hands of degeneracy. It's almost like they have a golden touch, but instead of whatever they're touching turning to gold, it turns into pure cringe. Before I continue on, please check out my other videos after watching this one, since there is a 50-50 chance this video will get age restricted or outright deleted. It's happened before, it's very likely going to happen again sometime. I hate to be this person, but you know, there was a time when fan art was actually considered to be good, and that was the norm. In fact, it wasn't too long ago, dial back 9 or so years ago, and making fan art about virtue signaling and political causes was relatively unheard of. Most fan art in the past was either low quality JPEGs drawn in MS Paint, or lewd drawings uploaded to sus websites. A lot of the low quality MS Paint drawings are the earliest forms of modern memes. Now, with low quality drawings, we got some of the internet's greatest memes. Memes include Soy Jax, the Troll Faces, there's actually more than one, Spooderman, Sanic, Uganda Knuckles, uh, the What Do We Want meme, and many more I can't really think of at the current moment, most of which originated from the cultural capital of the internet, 4chan. Take that, plebiters, who's really behind the meme? What I'm trying to get at is, fan art that is poorly drawn isn't in itself inherently bad. However, when it's shit quality and it doesn't embrace or know it's shit quality, there's an issue there. And that issue only worsens when people don't do anything about it. Now, to say the least, I am very annoyed by these trash fan arts. If you cannot tell already, this video is about Nokotan. This time, trans activists have yet again hijacked a great thing, turned it into something else to make them feel good about being whatever they identify as, I don't give a fuck. Uh, point being, it's just getting really fucking old, really fucking quick. And I know many of you are going to be saying, Oh, why don't you just ignore them? Well, I could. However, when it's on the goddamn trending page of X, it's kind of hard to ignore. Not to especially mention, whenever I look up Nokotan on Twitter, I am greeted with the slop. Look, I don't give two fucks if you're black, white, brown, or goddamn red, white, and fucking blue. Just get the shit off my page. I assure you, no one but other bozos in your weird little friend group, no one in real life actually gives a fuck what you identify as. Let me tell you that right now. All you are doing is bringing more hate to whatever you identify as. You are causing hate against yourself. Trust me, when I say this, 9 times out of 10 executive producers, writers, and designers, their thinking process or intent is not to make a cartoon character for a family-friendly TV show that is what neoliberals LARPing as conservatives in America call woke. Well, that is at least Japan. American writers are a whole different mess. I don't really feel like touching on that for this video. Anyways, these activists being a common nuisance is a very recent phenomenon. Before 2016, this kind of art didn't really exist much outside of very niche spaces on Tumblr. It wasn't until 2018 when this type of shit fan art, I'm calling it quote unquote fan art because this shit's not fan art at all, dude. This is hate art. They hate against these people. It became common then. Every year, it's a new thing. 2019, it was trans rights. 2020, it was BLM riots. 2021, it was anti mega. And then again, trans rights again, 2022 with pro-Ukraine, 2023 pro-Hamas, 2024 somehow trans rights again. It's getting old, to say at least. But sadly, of the modern age, it's really fucking hard to tell who's rage baiting and who's sincere on this. A lot of the time, these people are trolls or they're just severely mentally ill. Uh, they know they'll go viral, so sometimes they'll just do it just for the sake of going viral. Despite knowing the world will hit on them, they'll still go with it. They'll still go with the creating process of uploading the drawing, creating the drawing, fucking promoting the drawing, hoping that they don't just look stupid in a few years. Let's face it, most people do not go viral. Believe it or not, the same people who post the low-quality activist art are actively destroying whatever online community you are a part of. These people are almost always trolls, attention seekers, and they do not add anything productive to a community's conversation. Their only role in a community is to be a social parasite and hijack it. Ignore them. They'll go away. Don't fight back by posting an edgy rebuttal video to their soy claims that have zero ground reality. Simply just block them. Like, holy shit, the power of the block button is understated. Why don't we all just use it? Now, let me restate. I am not saying you cannot support these subjects, or that all activist art in general is bad. Much of these stuff are actually good things, and that would be a flat out lie if I said they're all bad. However, what is, is hijacking community with a completely unrelated topic which involves the real world and real effects on the real lives of real people. Not to mention that the topic almost always leads to the community more divided. I swear to god, these tourists ruin everything. They make the core of the community migrate to other communities. It inevitably leads to the utter, complete loss of interest 
which leaves the community with no real core and it'll drift into complete fucking utter chaos. Believe it or not, in reality, most people who hyperfixate on some movement are always twitarded and terminally online. People in the real world could not care less what you support, what mainstream idea you love. For the love of God, shut the fuck up. Close your mouth. We should all be more quiet than we already are. We usually call the people making anime westernized as tourists, anime tourists, and they really are not wrong on this. These tourists certainly do not care about the culture, where it came from, or what it even is about. Despite claiming that they hate people who destroy foreign culture, I see these people actively destroy cultures around the goddamn world. These are the same supposed activists that misrepresent the communities of the Middle East, the values of East Asia, the values of India, the values of any non-Western society. In their eyes, everything must be fucking watered down so everyone in the West can enjoy their culture. Holy shit! Let them be! God damn! That's right, not only do these people ruin communities, but they serve to ruin society as a whole. Do not be one of these fake online activists. If you want to actually make a difference in the world, go outside. Go outside. Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying this. Go the fuck outside. If you go outside, you'll probably meet people. If you go outside, you will probably find people with similar interests than in you. If you ever actually want to achieve something in life, go outside. Get a job, then you'll have money so you can fundraise events. Holy shit! New idea. But you know, these people don't actually do that because they don't actually want anything to change. They just want to feel like they did something. In reality, they are nothing more than social parasites who live off welfare. Or their parents' money, and probably a combination of both. Dear YouTube, if any one of your poor employees has to watch this video sometime in the future, let me state this video is not about hate. This video is an advocacy video. This video is a call for supposed activists to stop forcing their ideologies on other people, on other community, and to start making quality, meaningful art. And stop making cheap, soulless art that serves no purpose of any other kind than to destroy in a community. Now, this video wasn't exactly about no Tan too much. It was more about the people who ruin it. And let me say that I still love the anime. I think it's a great anime, and I think everyone should watch it sometime. However, the community, holy shit, dude, it needs to get its act together. Comment whatever anime you want me to review next. Have a great day.